Welcome to Analytics with Nux. In this video, we are going to see about a very important concept in analytics world, a what if analysis and how to do it in Power BI. Let us try to explore this what if analysis using a business scenario. And for the Naga garments, he asks a question like, how much discount percentage I should set this year for a festival season? And uh, during the festival seasons, we may encounter a lot of offers for uh, governments or any business. And how much percentage the organization should set so that it will remain profitable even with the um, uh, giving a discount, right? So deciding this is not a simple task. Just like that uh, organization or a company or a government shop cannot uh, decide. It should consider various factors, how much they purchased and how much sales will happen. And if they uh, give a percentage randomly for each category, it will end up in uh, loss. Okay. So for this example, to understand what if analysis, like the Naga governments considers the previous year data and if the percentage is five percentage and how much profit he will get okay i mean from the previous year profit if he gets i mean if he gives a five percentage discount how much actual profit he will get so that he will decide this year also he can keep uh, that particular discount so that uh, he can meet his uh, uh, run the business profitably the what whatever the discount percentage is giving that should end up in profit again right uh, without talking much let's jump into a demo if you are new to this channel hit the subscribe button now to learn the concepts in power bi okay we have a simple model over here uh, like uh, we have a dim date and we have a sales and product right and let me delete it have created uh, for the demo to work it out so basically we have uh, sales product master and dim date now we have three years data and uh, the location wise data let us uh, try to explore it uh, instead of location let me drag and drop um, category name so different uh, category wise he wants to analyze okay this casual, semi-formal, and formal accessories. What actually I want to do here for the Naga garments. So he wants to set some discount percentage for 2019 or 2020 current year. Uh, so he sees the previous year profit like uh, it is uh, four not two thousands. Um, that is uh, 0.4 million. It's his profit. So if he if he decides, he assumes that um, for this year also he will get uh, the same sales. Maybe he wants to set for a particular month. Let me narrow down to here. So let's head towards uh, focus for November. So November or December is the festival season. We have Christmas and in India. There are a lot of festivals, right? And uh, so he sees like uh, this is his profit for that month and he want to set a good percentage discount uh, this year so that uh, his business will give a profitable this year as well so from the previous year's data he want to give some percentage and analyze it say for example five percentage so how much it will reduce from 30,000 profit how much he will get if he gives a five percentage or two percentage or ten percent 25 percentage so like that he want to analyze uh, randomly so uh, let us see uh, how we can do that such analysis right that is what a what if analysis is meant for let's try to have uh, what if uh, parameter first for that you need to go to modeling then go to new parameter here we need to give us a discount percentage okay it's it can be anything that is a person the what if parameter name i'm putting it as a discount percentage and maximum from zero to 20 percentage he wants to randomly check uh if he gives 20 percentage how much actual profit he will get from the uh, last year profit okay that is what uh, he wants to uh, analyze so let us put uh, maybe 25 okay and increment by 
one so he wants to drag and drop i mean he wants to scroll between one percentage two percentage he want to check okay how it should increment so i want each and every possibilities from zero to 25 so i will put one if you put five here so he can the user can able to choose five percentage ten percentage fifteen or twenty five twenty so like that only so it is incrementing from zero and this is the increment value how how you should choose let us keep it as one for now okay add slicer to this page that is by default okay just put it there once you choose all this default option it will give us one parameter okay i mean the slicer over here okay you see the description i mean sorry discount percentage that is the header let us slightly increase it a bit i hope we need to increase it like this and let me put a shadow for this that's fine so what happens now once you add it it will automatically change nothing so let me explain this one for you so what the what if parameter will do is it will create a virtual table i mean it's not a virtual table it will create a table and with some calculated uh, this is the value that it generates okay it's a column generate series if you can go and see a table here um that is description percentage you see it's just a single column uh with the one to 25 okay that's it so that is what uh, this column will do and this will create another measure okay the selected value whatever values you choose here this value is holding in this measure so let us say like uh, let us drag and drop something 11 now it's the value is 11 here it's very small i'm not sure to increase let us increase this one a bit so that people can see okay fine so now it's uh, maybe i'll say 10 percentage you can see this value over here uh, in a label so i'm dragging 10 now i will increase this one 20 okay so what we are going to do so as soon as you change this value that will be stored in this measure that is what this what if parameter so so we consider this as a percentage 10 percentage 20 percentage and based on that we will newly create one profit column now for this december 30 uh 1800 is your profit for 2018 december so if the user gives 10 percentage discount on that day i mean on that month how much he has got actual profit from his profit he has to reduce 3080 rupees right so that is what he has to calculate so by doing so he can analyze different perspective of how much uh, he should give for casual wear if he gives casual wear 10 percentage what is his actual profit uh, after discount so this year also he can decide that is what we are going to do for this we need to create a, another measure new measure that is my new profit a calculation should be uh, sum of profit minus uh, i need to subtract the uh, how much percentage right so it will give when i give a discount uh, it will give 30000 uh, 10 percentage is 3000 so i should subtract the discount because that is not going to come for me so 30000 minus 3000 27 that is what i am going to do so first i uh, put uh, this sum of profit and i need to calculate that 3000 the discounted amount for that again i need to multiply sum of profit okay sum of profit and multiplied by discount percentage that is discount percentage so this is actually not in percentage this is actually in uh, value that is 10 so i need to di uh, divide by 100 to get the uh, 7 percentage value uh, let me put like this then i will close for this so this part the second part after subtraction calculating the discounted value for 30000 3000 this calculates the 3000 value this will give me the actual value that is 30000 value okay now let me put enter let us try to uh, see this uh, new measure that is new profit across uh, this one let us see this one this is 402 100 right so uh, 10 percentage of it is nothing but um, something around 4000 if you subtract 4000 it should somewhere around uh, 3600 i mean 36000 um let us see that value okay i'm poor in calculating let us see that okay 
that makes sense so you see here the 10 percentage of it something around 4020 and if you subtract the value it exactly 36180 that is what it you are getting so by analyzing this the what if anal analysis you can do now let me change this value to 5 percentage okay when i give 5 percentage discount what will be the value so from 4020 5 percentage is 2010 and when i subtract that that will give me 3810 so this is how how much percentage he can give whether i should give a 20 percentage discount when i do a 20 percentage discount it goes 32,016. that will not meet me the end objective my cost price and uh, i mean whatever how much i purchased will not give me a profitable uh, benefit it's so deciding on a discount is not so simple just like that they can give a 10 percentage 20 percentage so for this he can give a 20 percentage discount for a casual wear maybe based on another measures he can analyze what i'm trying to say here is like for casual wear uh, even if he gives 20 percentage discount uh, he will get 173760 that sounds to be good for the business maybe this actual price will be like uh, uh, around uh, 15000 I mean, I'm saying uh, 150 thousands. So in that case, for giving a 20 percentage is fine. And for this case, the cost price of this accessories may be 35 thousand. So he cannot give a discount of 20 percentage. So for accessories, he should reduce the value and see like uh, it should be around 8 percentage or 10 percentage. Uh, I mean, maybe less than 10 percentage he should give. So based on these kind of uh, analysis, okay, if we, the user has another measure like uh, what is the actual cost price of these products, then he can decide it better, okay. So this is very important analysis. This is very good understanding of our initial what if analysis. I have made this uh, uh, video like it is applicable for very complex analytics as well. There are a lot of uh, scenarios, a lot of business use cases for doing uh, what if analysis and it is very important concepts in BI world. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button right now and do remember that data is your asset.